Hello, everybody. My name is Peter Mad Cat Ruth. My friend Dan Ripke invited me to come to talk to you today about careers in music. And I guess I'm qualified to talk on the subject because I've been making my living as a harmonica player for 50 years. Now, there's lots of ways to have a career in music. You could be a music teacher. You could be a booking agent. You could be a recording engineer. You could work in an orchestra. But for 50 years, my primary income has come from performing live music concerts. My secondary income has come from the sale of music on phonograph records and CDs. So far, I've played on over 130 LPs and CDs and quite a few TV and radio commercials. The first thing I want you to understand about being a professional musician is the importance of being versatile and adaptable. Because the music scene is constantly changing, styles of music go in and out of popularity every few years. So you need to be comfortable playing in a wide variety of musical styles. As you can see, I've played in folk music, rock and roll, blues, jazz, fusion, funk, a little bit of country, bluegrass, reggae, even a bit of classical music. There's lots more to making a career in music than just playing music. One of the most important skills besides good musicianship is learning how to get a gig. And that's not easy. As far as I know, it's not taught in music schools. For the first few years of being a professional musician, I was in a band where someone else took care of all this, all the booking of the gigs. Later, however, when I got my own band, I had to learn how to book gigs myself. To get a gig, you have to convince someone to hire you. So first you have to find out who to ask. Then you have to convince your, that person that your music is good. To do that, you need to have a recording of your music so they can hear. And even better, if you could have a YouTube video 
where they could see and hear your music. Then you have to convince them that there are people who would pay to see you play. Nowadays, that means you can show them a good following on some sort of social media. Once you line up a concert, it's very important to promote that concert so that you can draw a crowd. If no crowd shows up to your gig, chances are you won't be hired back again. These days, making a living at music is especially hard because there's so much music available for free. Under these circumstances, you might be better off thinking about having music as a hobby or a part-time job rather than a full-time career. But if your heart is 100% into it, well then, give it a try. Adios. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Maxwell, AKA Dr. Sax Love, and I am a professional musician. Yes, I'm a professional musician. I've attained some modicum of success. I have a YouTube channel called Dr. Sax Love. We're currently getting about 7 million views a month. And along the way, I've gained a few nuggets of wisdom that I'd like to share with you today. And this has to do with any endeavor, any career. You've got to find your passion. If you can find that one thing in life that makes your heart sing, that when you do it, you can do it all day without noticing the passage of time, you have found your passion, and you are way ahead of the game, believe me. And when I say find your passion, I mean literally anything. Let's say that you wanted to, oh, play the spoons for a living. Well, in this day and age, you can make a living playing the spoons. That's Abby the Spoons player, and she's making a living and having some fun doing it, I would imagine. So the point is, if you can find that one thing in life that you love more than anything, that's your passion. You should follow it. And by the way, here's another little piece of advice. If you're thinking about being an artist or a musician, if you think that's your passion, I would say don't do it. Unless, unless you can't not do it, unless you have some compulsion that drives you. If you don't have a compulsion, if you can't not do that art, then you will be unhappy in my experience. So once you've found your passion, here's another little piece of advice. Don't have a backup plan. If you have a backup plan, it's just way too easy to fall into it and never get out. If there comes a point in time where you need to make a little extra income, you'll figure it out in that moment. Don't have a backup plan. Next, be persistent. Work hard, work long, work forever, work as long as it takes. Doesn't matter if it's your passion and you love it and you don't notice the passing of time. Just go for it. You have to be prepared to work long and hard. There is no such thing as overnight success. It takes years and lots of hard work. So you find your passion. You work hard at it. And no matter what you do, keep love in your heart as much as possible. Love is healing. Love is acceptance. Love is forgiveness. Love is kind. And if you have love in your heart... The people around you, the people that experience what you do with your passion, will feel it. All right, brothers and sisters, find your passion, follow it, go out there and change the world. If I can be of assistance to you in any way, reach out to me.